Hey YouTube, today I'll be showing you guys how to root your Samsung Galaxy Nexus. It's the new phone by uh, Google with uh, Android 4.0. So the first thing we want to do is we want to install the drivers on the computer, which you cannot get it just by putting your phone into the computer, plugging it into the computer. So what I want you to do is I want you to go to uh, settings and go scroll all the way down to developer options and make sure USB debugging mode is not checked so this is checked right here and then this is unchecked make sure it's unchecked so after you do that go back and then I want you to go to security and make sure that the unknown sources are checked on so because uh, the software we're going to use have to um, install a software on the phone all right, guys, just wait for the next step. So the next step will be uh, plugging your phone into the computer. So um, make sure your phone is turned on. After you uh, have your phone turned on, uh, plug in the USB and make sure, like I said, the debugging mode is not on. After doing that, I want you to go to the browser, and uh, I will have that in the description exactly what you need to do. And uh, go to uh, junefabrics.com which you can download the software uh, to download the drivers for the phone. So after doing that, go to PDA Net for Android, click on it, and then go to download. And then um, don't download any of the top ones, just go to the bottom, and it says if you ever need to install an older version of PDA Net, you can get it from here. Click on here, and then download the version uh, 3.00 and make sure uh, if you have Windows 32 or Windows 64 I got in my case I got the Windows 64 so I will download the 64 one alright and then let's press keep alright after doing that click on it and open it oh, I already got in okay after you, uh, after you click on it click on run and click on yes and then an existing version okay I'm gonna press ok so I just wait for it to download All right, next I accept next next let it install okay Oh, okay. So uh, it says the Android development application is running on your computer and will cause a conflict with PDA Net. Please go to Text Manager and terminate the adb.exe process. So press Control, Alt, and Delete and start the Text Manager and then find the adb.exe32 and then end process. End process. Perfect. Just turn that. Press OK. Alright, an existing Android USB driver is found on your computer. You can reinstall it if it has problems. Yes, if you get that. Alright, you're going to get to this uh, section right here and select Samsung and press OK. Install drivers anyway. This might take a little while. Okay. It says, please perform the following steps to complete USB driver installation. So what I want you to do is I want you to unplug your phone and then go to uh, settings. And then after going to settings, uh, go to uh, developer option. And then click on USB debugging mode. So turn it on. After you have turned it on, plug your phone back in. And it should uh, go from there. So it's saying installing USB drivers and all these good things. And installing PDA net to your phone. Alright. 
Ah, connect PDA. Yeah. Make sure connect PDA after installation is turned on. Press finish. So now what I want you to do is I want you to go back to your phone and then go uh, search for the PDA net because it's already installed on your phone. Turn it off, on, sorry, and then press enable USB tether. Verifying internet connection. Alright, after doing that, uh, PDA is running, okay. Alright, after doing that, it's going to say, uh, please click the PDA tray icon for computer to connect. So, on the bottom, you're going to see PDA net ready to connect. Click on it, and then press on connect internet. So, let it connect. Just let it run for a couple of seconds. The first time I did it, I let my uh, phone connect for five minutes. So, just do that for now. I'm just going to go to the next step. Alright, I'm going to turn it off. Alright. So, just wait for the next step. Alright, guys. So, what I want you to, go, to do now is I want you to... Uh, take uh, or sorry turn off your phone and then uh, click on the volume up down and then the power button for uh, one second or two and then release the power button and you'll get to this screen that's what we want to get to and uh, the next step will be on the computer alright guys after uh, finishing the last step I want you to download the file that's called R3 Galaxy Nexus Festival once you have downloaded it uh, wherever you downloaded it to uh, open it and then uh, I want you to rename the file to root. Okay, so rename the file to root. Let me just uh, put an example. All right, so just take take that and rename it to R O O T. All right, and then now after that, take that root file that you just renamed and drag it to the desktop. Okay. Uh, after doing that, I want you to go to uh, computer, and then I want you to open C drive take the root file you just extracted to the desktop and uh, just throw it into uh, C drive do not put in any other folder files or anything just throw it on C drive I already done that so I'm just going to delete that alright just close this and open command prompt after you have launched command prompt I want you to type in CD and then space C the two dots on top of each other and forward slash enter and then type in cd root enter and then I want you to type in fast boot windows oh sorry the uh, dash windows space oem space unlock enter it's gonna say failed remote already unlocked it won't say this on yours because uh, that'll be your first time doing it but it's staying on mine because I just did it like two hours ago so after doing that and your phone is gonna ask you are you sure you wanna uh, continue or whatever it said I forgot what it said you press yes and it, yes it will delete everything so make sure you back up your data or pictures or music or whatever you wanna back up it will delete everything alright after doing this close uh, this window and then I want you to after your phone restarts or whatever uh, and if it didn't go back to the you know the step before this if it didn't go back to the windows where the Android his heart is open uh, make sure you redo that and then after doing that open computer and go to the file you just uh, put into the C drive which is root open it and then click on install superboot windows BAT this will root your phone okay the first thing is we want to unlock your boot uh, the best boot second step is to root your phone this step is to root your phone alright once you've done that just let your phone do its thing and uh, make sure that you downloaded the super root user uh, I will uh, see you in the next step alright guys so the next step is uh, go to your the menu and make sure uh, the super uh, user is installed is this one right here the Android with the uh, patch on his eyes. 
So uh, just click on it and make sure it's on. It's going to give you a message. You're going to press OK and then it should be uh, on. And uh, congratulations, you have rooted your phone. Uh, please rate my video or like it. And uh, if you have any questions, please do not dislike the video or write uh, some uh, comments or whatever that you're angry or whatever the occasion is. If you have any problem, please email me or uh, leave a comment uh, with, a, with your question and uh, I'll be able to answer it for you. All right, thank you guys and have a nice day.